What is Google My Maps? Not Google Maps, Google My Maps. Two different things. Well, Google My Maps is this, a tool for creating custom maps. You can add markers, routes, shapes, and set different map styles. It's a useful tool for like planning a road trip or like mapping all of the Starbucks in your city, but it's open-ended, which means you can build all kinds of maps with it. And while Google My Maps looks a little intimidating, it's, it's really not. In this short video, I'm gonna teach you how to master Google My Maps. So let's do it. Okay, here we are. Let's create a new map. And let's give it a name. The first thing I like to do is get rid of these icons for stores and restaurants. I find they clutter the map. And to do that, we need to select a different base map. There are nine base maps to choose from, including a satellite view. I like this one, though. So let's add some markers to the map. We can search for an address here. And then we click Add to Map. Perfect. We've added a marker. Now I want to point something out. Our marker is a part of this layer, untitled layer. And I, I gotta be honest, I think layers are the most intimidating part of Google My Maps, but they don't need to be. Think of a layer as like a group or a category. So let's give this layer a name. We'll call it Day One. And then let's create another layer called Day Two. Now you might be wondering, am I required to have a layer? Can I make a map with no layers? Well, no. Unfortunately, layers are a requirement. You need at least one. Let's add another marker to day one. So just make sure you have the day one layer selected. You can tell which layer is selected by this blue line here. Then let's select the add marker tool. This lets us drop markers onto the map and we'll drop it here and we'll give it a name. Perfect. Now let's add markers for day two. But this time, I'm going to demonstrate another way of adding markers by importing a spreadsheet with address data. So let's click import. And we'll just drag it in to import and upload. Perfect. We've got all our markers. Now, if we want, we can add notes to a marker. So just click this edit button, We've got some text to paste in, and there we go. Now, unfortunately, we can't really format this text by adding links or making text bold. It's, it's just plain text. You can also upload images or videos. So let's hit this button. Now, what's cool is you can even add images by searching Google images, which is really handy. Here's an unfortunate thing though, you can't get rid of this ugly black frame. It's always just there, kind of annoying. We can also change a marker's color. So let's choose a new color for each of the day two markers. Perfect. Let's try adding something else. We can also add shapes. So click this tool and select add a line or shape. And then we just click around the map to start drawing our shape. To complete the shape, click on the final point and choose a color if we want. The lines and shape tool is powerful. We can also use it to draw routes. We can do driving, walking, or biking routes. Let's do a driving route between our points on day two. So we'll click the first destination to the second. And we just need to add a third destination. And we'll add a fourth destination. And there we go. We have driving directions between four stops. Now, if you'd like to adjust the route at all, just drag the route and it will add an anchor point. If you don't like it, double click the anchor point to remove it. Okay. Let's hit preview to see how our final map is looking. Okay. Now you might be thinking this looks 
nice, but what if I want more customization options? Like, what if I want to remove this sidebar? Well, you can't. What if I want to change the color of this orange? Well, you can't. What if I want markers to be bigger? I can't do that. What if I want a map style that isn't one of these nine? Sorry, you're limited to these nine map styles. It turns out Google My Maps is pretty limited with how you can customize it. But there's another tool that offers a lot more customization, and it's called Atlas. And with Atlas, you can choose between tons of different map styles. You can customize markers however you'd like. And you can customize anything about modal pop-ups. For example, if you want, you can hide the address or add some buttons. And you can customize the sidebar to look however you want. So here we have a list overlay, but we could also add search or a legend. And there's a whole lot more you can do with Atlas. Like Google My Maps, you can share Atlas Maps or embed them on a website. But here's the thing, Atlas does cost money. It's not free. Google My Maps is free. So why isn't Atlas free? Well, I'm uniquely qualified to answer that because I'm the co-creator of Atlas alongside my friend, Carl. And we're not a part of Google. So every time a map is loaded in Atlas, we have to pay Google 0.07 cents. So we'd be losing money if we offered our maps for free. Google My Maps is free because, well, they're Google. They don't have to pay themselves. But I think there's a place for both. Google My Maps is a super handy tool. For example, I like using it to plan a trip. But I've also personally run into times where I wanted more customization options. And that's what led Carl and me to create Atlas. If you want to try Atlas, there's a link in the video description. But in any case, I hope this video was useful. And thanks for watching.